All right, we've got our simple survey grid set up. We're using a GoPro, 50 meter default height, and let's see how it works out. One of the add-ons that we use is a Bluetooth telemetry bridge. So our tablet transmits up to 50 feet away to the telemetry bridge, and then the telemetry bridge transmits up to the copter via 900 megahertz for the data. All right, the waypoints have been saved to the drone. And we will advance our throttle slightly above idle. And we will now arm and start the mission. Arm. Probably hard to see. Going for waypoint four. Battery at ninety percent. Waypoint nine. Going for waypoint ten. All right, now that we've got our images on our computer, we're gonna scan through them and kind of find where the first image starts where we're actually up at altitude. And we'll skip over the ones when we are climbing to altitude. We'll start there, kind of scan through all the images and find where we got done with the mission. And it looks like we'll end it right about here. We'll go ahead and select that. We'll now take all these images and bring those images into the ICE program. Now I'm using a free program called Microsoft Ice or Microsoft Image Composite Editor. I'm going to paste those images that I cut from my GoPro camera into the app and it's going to go ahead and process all those images selecting the best images to stitch together. Go ahead and speed up the uh, process a little bit here. Now once the images get done processing your image will show up on the screen. You can at, then po at that point crop the image, rotate the image, get it how you want and save it as a standard JPEG. And here is our final image. Again, this is only a five megapixel image, so if we ran the GoPro at the higher resolution, it would be even sharper. Uh, it doesn't really do it justice in a video, but you can zoom in or out on this and have a really high resolution image. So kind of as, a, as an added bonus yesterday, I decided to try the, the follow me feature that everybody's been bragging about. And uh, I can say that it does work exactly as described. So what I'm actually doing here is I put the iris up into a hover, put it into uh, loiter mode, uh, grab my tablet and my radio just to have some backup. And I actually started to walk out here in front of the iris. And as soon as I... Uh, was happy with the altitude that the iris was at, I hit the new droney button on the Nexus 7 tablet 
uh, that had Droid Planner 2.0 on it, and sure enough, the iris started to follow me. So you'll see that here in just a second. So right here I engage the droney button and sure enough it starts to follow my tablet's position. Now keep in mind this is a uh, fixed GoPro on the front and obviously the iris is dipping forward to make those forward movements. If this would have been on a brushless gimbal this would have been a completely smooth video. I walk out, I actually make a left turn here and the iris makes a left turn with me. I then even took off running back to my uh, van and it followed me just like it did on the way out. And then right here I re-engage loiter mode so I can set the uh, tablet down and take back over and land with the radio. I will also say that I flew both the mapping mission and the follow me mission with one battery uh, so the new flight time is uh, definitely extended. <laughs> 